Good evening again, folks. It is 8.55 p.m. And I'd like to show you, as long as the cord's long enough, what I've done so far. I have the belt guard done up. We can see down here. Sorry, not a ton of light for you, but you can kind of get the gist of the belt right, right there, and it's guarded completely, and I have a piece of wood right here guarding the back side of this, this unit, and it's okay that there's a bit of a gap here, can't get a finger through, so not terrible. Pop can ain't going to go through there. So, as we look in through the inside, we can see, if I turn the wheel, the other side is open. See the hand through here? So the pop cans can go all the way through if I can do this, and into that area, and then fall into the pop can bin. And on the left side here, for the left wheel, I have the same thing. And I'll rotate the wheel, so the belt's completely guarded now, on the left and right side. And as you can see here, there's a chute here for the pop cans to, to fall down. I'll use one. So if the pop can were to be in here, it would fall into the can holder. So from the top view, trying not to press any buttons here. From the top view, there's two screws holding it in. It's a little dark back here, but hopefully I can kind of show how the belt's guarded. Like I said, it's really dark back there, but that's because the shelf system is here. But it's the same getup that we have here. Get you in a good spot here. So, you can see, fingers are down here, I notched out the wood, or the belt, and the pulley, and all that. The only sound you hear is the teeth cogging together. You can uh, get down nice and low, for us all to see, in case you may have missed past a video. Not perfect mesh, but to start. And it crushes the cans okay. Not great, but okay. It's got a little bit of sawdust on it, but that's what they're coming out looking like at the moment. Not too shabby. I will mount this back on to the tripod best I can without pressing any buttons. test for you. Got a few cans over here in the bag. Everything is good to go. go. 
our bags here. Just wanted to point out, and now it does not matter which way that the pop cans go in. So I go in bottom, or I can go in top. Very nice. Okay, so far so good. As you can see here, everything did good. Let me unmount this from the tripod. We're just after 9 p.m., six and a half minutes in. Still recording, which is good. And if we look down, there's on nice cans. Maybe I get a little closer. Oh, there's the nice cans. Some Coke, Mountain Frost. Now I did have one can. I want to scoot out. Bag somewhere. Sorry. I did have one can. I almost turned it on. Turn it off, make sure. I did have one can want to come out here. So I could take another piece of plywood and fix it, you know. So that's just where I have it sitting at the moment. Or I could take one of these pieces, get real corny on it. It's catching the bag there do that. That looks pretty cheesy. I have the wood. So I will use wood. I need to... This is just for slipperiness. There we go. And I have a nice rod. I did have one can that got stuck earlier. And I can do it there. And it goes down. Wow. It goes all the way. Awesome. Anyway, apply what I have sitting right there. Nice little workmate bench thingy that I work on. Not a lot of room, but when I get my own place, there'll be plenty of room. Neighbors aren't going to like it, but tough. I live here, they don't. Well, they live next door, but point is, that is the pop cut crushing can machine. Fully ready, fully go, and to keep them from coming out, I can put a divider right there too. But I am done for this evening. Mow the lawn, front, back, sides, all that. Came down, put the left divider on, put the right divider on, put the angled things in, angled thing in that you see right there and put one on here and we're good to go can crushing madness got to love it coming on just nine minutes and 35 seconds i'll bid you guys a good evening have a good night and keep on crushing bye bye